wanted to talk to you a little about uh, Muhammad. Um, we know that the Pharisees had uh, caused Rome to uh, destroy Jerusalem after it had been taken over by the uh, Essenes. Um, left a wall that had been uh, built by the Persians uh, for the god of the Essenes and same as Daniel, Yahweh. So the holy place of the Jews today where they wail at the wailing wall is the wailing wall of Yahweh, not their god. The God of the Old Testament. Um, you're dealing on a spiritual level with things that um, uh, you've got check and checkmate, pawns move back and forth. And from a grand scale, look back in time at the, the church at the time of uh, they um, wanted to rid themselves of the. Uh, followers of the way, the Essenes and so forth, which eventually evolved into the Eastern Orthodox, which is where Russia comes in. You've got the book of Ezekiel, and if you look at it how many times the Lord said, in it is 221, and that takes you right back to um, uh, my body weights and uh, the area of the Isle of Man, and uh, the distance from the uh, from that island to the Great Pyramid is two four two four miles, which is Jesus in the Greek concordance. All right, so it all fits together. Now, um, when the Vatican made a move to uh, start a another religion um, with themselves. Uh, and the Pope as being Christ. The idea was to um, create a prophet and um, through a series of manoeuvres um, they chose Muhammad. Now this is where the check and checkmate comes in. Although they was choosing Muhammad as the most potential uh, man in his uh, society to be able to influence, they also chose a man that was also chosen by the Creator, myself. So that he would write, not with his own hand, but with the hand of others, one document, which is a letter to the uh, Orthodox monks at St. Catherine's on Mount Sinai. But he was turning away from Catholicism in the Vatican and choosing the Eastern Orthodox, which becomes the reason why the book of Ezekiel has been um, manipulated to make it appear that the, there is a God talking to Ezekiel when this is not the case. What would happen with a prophet that idea to have a vision or they dream a dream? So there was none of the speaking of the satanic God of the Old Testament and the uh, Talmud. Tom, it's 18,000 pages long. It's, look at your Bible, it's 1,400. So all uh, boils down to what Muhammad said, and that is that he would protect and battle for the uh, Orthodox Christians. Now, the point is, um, who would the Orthodox Christians be battling against? Well, it was Rome, of course. So um, that has now surfaced again in uh, uh, Russia as a dominant religion. 
So, the Bible itself, although there's a lot of it is evil, and it's got the Old Testament in it, divided into the various groups, but ignoring the prophets, and then altering the one prophet that had the number in the Hebrew concordance, which they did not know at that time, would be when it was invented or first put together by James Strong, an American scholar with a hundred other scholars, they put together the Strong's Concordance and around 1830 it was available. We go to the 3168th name in or number in the Old Testament and it's the word Ezekiel. You go to um, the Greek language which is uh, what the Old Testament was written in, in lots of cases, was used as the authentic Word of God because it combined with Greek geometria. So the number 3168 is Lord 800, Jesus 888, and Christ 480. So you put them all together, you get 3168. Now, I, I have been successful in being um, condemned and uh, rejected by all but about 19 people in the earth. And that's not bad over 20 years. Uh, especially my family, they think I'm a lunatic. And uh, not realising, however, that the further down the genetic tree of Adam, the stupider you get. So these people that I were... Uh, unfortunately or fortunately depending on the outcome born into was to be given a intellectual um, stupefying series of educational events that um, caused me to reject uh, the elders of my family by the time I was four years of age that they were just all simply stupid and immoral So by the time I uh, am charged with um, altering a cheque and cashing it, um, the police weren't smart enough to realise that the cheque wasn't mine. <laughs> they charged me with it. And uh, the reason it wasn't mine, it was my wife's, because um, Pauline Margaret Lucas at the time, her sister, had uh, lent us some money after the death of our child. It was murdered by the uh, Catholic Church. So um, what comes out of that is an ongoing series of events. And as of late, I've tried to explain um, my uh, life of, of uh, crucifixion mentally in a hellhole that the fact that I died on the cross for and being sinless was instantly raised into the womb of my mother who was the most royal woman, Daphne Golightly, of the line of King David through King William the line of Scotland. And uh, she also of the uh, Norman line of Diabernal which goes back to uh, um, William, uh, William the Conqueror and the uh, Jewish uh, tribe of, if you like, I don't, I don't like the word Jewish because it's been used as many of the Jews of today. I refer to it as myself as being a Jew and uh, of the tribe of Judah. It's genetic, it's not a religion. And uh, that line, the Galatly line, is also from Habsburg. So that's why we have um, my son Adam sitting in uh, Amsterdam today, um, as he is the king of Europe, because he is descended from my ancestors through the Galatly line, and my mother, uh, Habsburg. They went to England about 846, that era. So getting back to the numbers, We 
We have Muhammad, of course, he uh, was inadvertently and mistakenly chosen by the Catholic Vatican to uh, become a prophet. And a lot of the Quran that you read is Jewish um, Kabbalism and uh, Talmud. It's all to do with a non-forgiving God, uh, non-curing of evil on curing of sicknesses, this kind of thing, depending on the interpretation. Um, so we have 3168. Now, I was putting together just a few days ago a lot of what I'm talking about now in a PowerPoint, which I will upload children. But the 3168 is the distance around where I lived with Mary Magdalene. And that was uh, Unit 4, 150 Nell Street, Greensboro, in Victoria. The distance around the world, 31680 kilometers. Now, these become absolutes. The distance from that house to the South Pole is uh, 5813 kilometers, that's the height of the finished pyramid. So the stone the builders rejected has become the head of the pyramid, which is what the original Essenes said in re reference to uh, a later translation becoming Matthew 2142. It changed the word to capstone to and pyramid to uh, head of the corner. So, it's like following a trail of footprints that uh, it's quite easy to do when the footprints are in blood and you can do a blood comparison to the start of the footprint to the end of the footprint so it's the same person that the blood they're standing in, which is Jesus, of course, which is myself. Now, you don't understand that because in this modern age, the likes of the Tavistock Industry Institute, uh, which manipulate all things in England, um, have fed you in your food and your air and your water. All these things have dumb you down. Now, some of you, fortunately, are able or have been ordained not to eat those foods and um, have still the uh, spiritual functionality that you should have had as you had as a baby if your mother hadn't have been polluted. So we're dealing with several generations here of uh, true evil science getting into you and causing those terrible things to do. So we go back to Ezekiel and of course um, Ezekiel 2424 um, is in direct reference to numbers that were obtained from the Australian Mercantile Law Book that fell open on uh, the uh, December the 4th in 1999, open at page 255, which is a law which I was accused of altering a cheque to cash. And an angel spoke to me and said, do the numbers and uh, the vowels. So I did them and they have a total of 3168 in that law that was written in 1827 in the House of Lords in London. So uh, if you were serious and you think, look, let's really give this guy a hard time, search my name, my name out on the internet, Brian Leonard Galati Marshall, and you'll find some, depending on the day, it could come up 80 million times or it could come up only 50,000 times. It's, uh, Put you that, put your own name in, see how many times it comes up. If you put Brian Marshall in, it comes up twice as many times as Alec Jones. So it's all synchronistic, it all fits together, and this is what I'm trying to explain to you. And uh, we're going to have a wonderful show coming on shortly. The, the uh, planets that have come back from outer space, they're going to be here and doing all sorts of wonderful things.